Well, hello there and welcome to Primetime. Grass is one of the biggest epidemics facing our country at the moment, genuinely. This is a place called Sanctuary Synthetics, where they openly make the grass and then deal it throughout Ireland. These are grass dealers. I went inside earlier and I spoke to one of the dealers. His face is blotted out to protect his anonymity and because he's not really that good looking. I'm here inside Sanctuary Synthetics, where one of the grass dealers has agreed to meet me. Um, his face has been blotted out, because as I said, he's a bit of a minger. And we've protected his identity by giving him a false name, Tony. Tony, do you admit that you're a grass dealer? Absolutely, we're uh, one of the biggest in Ireland. Okay, and tell me, Mark, what kind of um, people do you deal to? Well, it's increasing in popularity in schools and even crashes at the moment. Sorry, can I stop you there for a moment? You're saying you're dealing grass in schools? Nationwide, absolutely. Nationwide? Yeah. To kids? The children love it. Increasingly, the teachers and even the parents are getting interested now. Sorry, I'm genuinely horrified. You're saying that you're using the kids as a gateway to get the parents and the grandparents presumably hooked on grass? Absolutely, yeah. They love it. They play. They give them a great sense of fun. Um, I'm sure it is fun. All day, all night. It's fun for everybody except the people who have to pay. That's part of it, the quality. We import it from Holland and it's the top quality and it, it sells itself. At this stage, people are coming to us now. We don't even have to go out there. You seem to have absolutely no shame. Business is business at the end of the day, Miriam. Who do you think you are, Pablo Escobar? We're the biggest dealers in Ireland. Sorry, excuse me. Um, his um, pixelation is moving away from his face. Could you just move it back? Thanks, Mark. I mean, Tony. Thank you. Um, well, I've heard even more vicious rumours that you're involved in the funeral business. It has been known to be. It does help the occasion. Um, it makes everything just much cleaner, much nicer. So people are at a funeral and you're dealing grass? Yes, it's used in the actual process of burial as well as uh, covering up afterwards. Did you ever think that you're a sick pervert? Um, Miriam, look, to be fair, uh, at the end of the day, we're just here, we're, we're a business, we're providing a service, there's demand for it, somebody has to make it happen. Well, we'll leave it there, Mark, Tony, or whatever his name is, he's nearly as bad as Simon Harris, from Primetime and Sanctuary Synthetics, good evening. Thank you, Miriam.